If you have online store or SaaS service, definitely you heard about cohort analysis. Hey, my name is Gala, I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. And today I would like to do an overview of my custom cohort template in Looker Studio. When you buy this template in my online store, you will get Looker Studio document and related Google Sheets. In Google Sheets document, Oh, sorry, in Looker Studio document, you will see one page dashboard with three tables. Life value by month, number of customers by month, and customer rotation percentage. How to read this dashboard? On the first column, you will have first purchase date. And then you will have number of customers that you got this day, uh, this month. And then you have spend data by month from all your platform. Then you have revenue from CRM system. Then you have customer acquisition cost. As you see, is growing month by month, but it means that customers um, come back to you. And uh, I think the main moment here is November. So you can see that your customers became profitable for you only after three months, only from four months of being your customer, then you start to get profit. So this is why this uh, dashboard and this kind of analysis is very important. So you can see lifetime value, customer acquisition cost, you can compare it to uh, these numbers and you can see lifetime value per customer month by month. Um, next table tells us about number of customers who did return purchases. For example, in February 23, you got 274 new customers. Uh, six of them only did one time purchase. I think this is a great result, but this is a random data. So this is great random data. <laughs> and uh, you can see that uh, 36 of these customers came back um, during the first month. 30 come back during the second month and uh, that's it what you can say from this table and the next table tells us uh, same information but it's a percentage so in our example February 23 274 customers only 2% of them did one time purchase this is a great result and I think in real business it will be higher but uh, it's a good example. Uh, so this is the dashboard and let's see how you can replicate it and how you can have this dashboard based on your data, not random. So when you buy this template, you have a link, you click this link and um, you just click OK. Um, manage data sources, you have two data sources, two tabs from one Google Sheets. Let's see what you will have in Google Sheets because this is important and this is the main magic of this dashboard. When you buy the template, you will have help tab where you can see some instructions and some comments uh, how to use this dashboard. Uh, input tab. This is, uh, I use random data. So these columns on the right side, I just use for random data basically. And you need to add your real data to this column. Be careful, this is a date column. Here should be only date data in date format. Uh, order and user ID, I use numbers, uh, but basically we don't care if it is numbers or hmm, string format. Uh, we count unique of these fields. Revenue, it should be number. And spend data, again, we have month, date. Uh, in my example, we have Google and Facebook ads, but you can add additional column here, um, add like bean ads, etc. Or if you don't use Google ads, but you use TikTok ads, just change it and add here your real spend. You can add data manually and the dashboard will work. If you want to automate this dashboard, you can use connector services to pull data automatically from your platforms to Google Sheets. It is possible. I have my recommendations. Okay. Uh, usually I work with Supermetrics, Power Analytics, or Windsor I connectors. Uh, 
I will add after record this video I will add links below um, so you can use connector services to pull data automatically but it is even not necessary if you want to use this data once per month uh, you can just add data manually from your platforms uh, just keep the format um, that is it what you need to do when you buy the template because other tabs I include only formulas here uh, I transform data I work with data to calculate um, to prepare data for visualization <coughs> tab when you see uh, LS it means Luger Studio so this tab connected to Luger Studio and this tab connected to Luger Studio uh, that is it. That is it. So, when you buy the template, you have two documents, Looker Studio and Google Sheets. You have, you just click uh, to copy your Looker Studio dashboard, add your real project data, uh, then just refresh data in Looker Studio, and you will have your cohort analysis for your business, and you will have customer acquisition cost. Uh, of course, it is a basic cohort analysis. It is necessary to have, but uh, we can do, if you want to customize it, you can order custom services and I can do some breakdowns. For example, we can see lifetime value by month and by cohort, for example, and add here some filters to check users from different departments, different stores or different regions. Sometimes I do it for my clients, so it is possible and it will be additional customization uh, but yeah it is possible um, also you can order design and i can customize uh, this dashboard for you for your company it's um, doable as well but anyway i think it is super fast way to create create your base cohort analysis for your business just copy by template, copy, <laughs> put your data and you can use and have you know, your insight from your marketing data in five minutes. I think this is great. Hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have questions, let me know. Um, um, give a like to this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I will be happy to help you with your marketing data. Bye-bye.